Welcome back everybody to Funky the Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This time I'm about Atiku Abubakar. Again, in this particular platform, we don't make all of us know say Atiku will be one day fired from PDP and APC. Remember, Atiku did the two political party. And uh, we don't really tell on a say. Atiku man when they destroy that particular political party, maybe PDP. We don't hear that many, many times in this platform. But today, another news don't come out when they teach us so many things concerning Atiku Abubakar. And I will learn into right now, hmm? within news they tell us concerning Atiku Abubakar. Okay? The PDP people right now, they don't plan how to expel Atiku from the political party due to the bad names when Atiku they bring in into their political party. And so many, many disagreements, so many, many fights since Atiku Abubakar became uh, their leader, I mean the PDP leader. Since, uh, since the reign of Atiku Abubakar and Abbasanjo, Atiku have been the man leading this particular political party. And in order to agree the step low or the step down for other candidates to contest as Nigerian uh, president or to contest as a candidate for the PDP people. Regarding presidency, okay, in they always want only him to be in front of the whole show. Just exactly the same, we want also be in the front of affairs concerning Nigeria. Remember, the same thing we don't tell Nigerian people say, in order to go away from anywhere, in order to get anywhere, in remain relevant in the political space of that country, and remain relevant in PDP, remain relevant in APC. Uh, make we go into the matana, make we see how they take the loss within PDP people, then they plan for Atiku Abubakar. PDP people then get something for Atiku Abubakar and it will never go down well with Atiku Abubakar when they make their, this their final decision as in how they want to fire Atiku Abubakar to retirement so that he will go back finally to Dubai, go relax and not come back to that Nigeria again. Now the plan of the PDP people. Atiku may be expelled from PDP as a Nigerian. A former special advisor to the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, Uma Odo, in don't suggest see, the former vice president might be expelled from the party. He failed to jettison his presidential ambition, the man. Yeah. Remember, this will not be the first time when Atiku Abubakar failed to jettison his uh, ambition as the president of Nigeria. Many times Atiku don't contest. Atiku don't contest in many, many platforms, ladies and gentlemen, not be only PDP. Uh -huh. The X8 cannot see the statement from the PDP governors that they were willing to work with President Bola Ahmed who shows they have moved away from Atiku. Abubaka. So the PDP governors, ladies and gentlemen, all of them don't boss out to see now Bola Meditinubu than want. They won't work with Bola Meditinubu. So if these people won't work with Bola Meditinubu and they come and they talk and boldly in public, that means that one won't always they claim say APC and PDP are the same. At the end of the day, they'll be the same. People. Now we, when we the citizens, then they deceive. Even all these fights, we don't let all of us know. Say all these are fight. Now kangaroo fight when they go anywhere. That is just to deceive and to distract the whole two hundred million Nigerian people. Now then the toxic the one work with the Bola Ahmedinubu. Remember, plenty plenty governors. I say PDP governors. Yeah, so we can first go, the other man don't go, many of them don't move. 
away from Atiku Abu Bakar. Record that the PDP Governors Forum had vowed to work with Tinubu following his intervention in the political crisis in Reva State. Chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, Bola Mohamed, disclosed this after intervening in the crisis between the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyasongwiki Abuja, and the River State Governor, maybe Sam Fabora. The statement read, the statement read in part, reading through Atiku's last Monday's press conference regarding the outcome of the Supreme Court judgment and his position towards Pres President Bola Meditunubu's presidency. The following day's communique of the PDP Governors Forum after its meeting at the Oyo State Governors Lodge, it is obvious that the honeymoon between the party's 2023 presidential candidate and its governors is now over. In a separate address to the press following the communion, the chairman of the forum, Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State, has the leadership qualities of President Bola Meditunubu and reiterated the PDP governor's readiness to cooperate, support, and work with the federal government that he leads. So, that's so, that's uh -huh. the matter. See, man, I think you get problem in PDP. I think you get problem with Nigerian people. I think you get problem everywhere, both with the Indigo. I think you don't do a lot of things, cause a lot of damages in political space of Nigeria. The same article, according to them, when the Nigeria there, now he make the Indigo not filled out any presidential candidate because of his, from PDP, because of his great. You see, now him, everything, now him. Today, now him, tomorrow, now only Atiku Awaka and his family. But now, the PDP people, they don't come out, they don't see. They might expel Atiku Abu Bakr from the political party. Here I am. Yes, Atiku may be expelled from the party. They don't give many, many reasons. If Atiku failed to dump his presidential ambition, he might be spell this is another headline so if atiku refuse them hmm, see now only him now only him will become let me see pdp right now they are very very ready to deal with atiku abu Bakr and send him back to dubai according to the news will be to address World Press Conference today. Now, another headline with that. We'll be going to address World Press Conference. Then they disclose this matter in one particular statement issued on Monday by the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Mwembe Obiora Ifor. An international press conference will be addressed by presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, today, November the 6th. Now, Peter Obi will address with an English address to the world. This particular development was made public on Monday by the National Publicity Secretary, Obiora Efo. The statement read His Excellency Peter Obi will address a world press conference scheduled for 2 p.m. today at campaign headquarters. This will be Obi's first official media conference following his loss at the Supreme Court. The development is also coming one week after his campaign spokesman, Yanusa Tanko, denying Obi had gone into hiding following 
the appeals court judgment has been speculated. Tanku told Punch that the Labour Party candidate travelled out of the country long before the court notice arrived. He also hinted that the party presidential flag bearer will address Nigeria once he returned to the country. So when I don't hear him now, people with the claim say Obi don't go into hiding. But now the Obi already let all of us know say Obi not go into hiding. In fact, in don't yeah, in don't Jakba go one particular country, but he not tell us where Jakba go. See, he will address Nigerian people as soon as he return from the abroad when in Jakba go. So election don't come and go, ladies and gentlemen. Now the criminal in charge, Bola Mary Tunubu. In fact, APC youth, ladies and gentlemen, they don't bust her from nowhere. They claim see make Nigerian people rise up massively to bring down Bola Mary Tunubu's presidency. So, ladies and gentlemen, this one are APC youth, APC nationwide. The the youth, in fact, the reason be say the hardship in Nigeria they too much, according to the news. So they don't come out like bees. See, man, Bola Tunubu must go down in history. They don't want to make Bola Tunubu be Nigerian president because they hash it they too much. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, they get what they 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 matang when I want ship in into this uh, Bola Medi Tunubu's uh, matter. Remember, see here, we know they do any pasha. We know they support anybody. We are saying what we are saying because that is the way it is supposed to be now uh, make we just take into account see the way when are the reason ladies and gentlemen see never two things when bola tunubu enter this presidency the people have to be patient to see you know at least give bola tunubu like a year or a year plus to see which, whether we will get changes from this particular government although we don't expect any changes but if we want to do something right. All of us will be human beings. We got to know, say, he never took things when Balatunubu enter into this his presidency. If Balatunubu himself is not a magician to make things begin to happen like that. Things have been destroyed many years ago before this Balatunubu enter into power. So, what would they try to be say, if we really want to do whatever we want to do to Balatunubu, Anyhow, I want to do one from Christa TV, no, no. But, Uma forgive Bola Meritunubu at least one year or one year plus to see whether the man will change things, turn things around for the betterment of the country. So, because, him, like I said before, Bola Tunubu himself not be magician. One will just turn things around just like that. Why don't they there eight years? Enough he turn anything around. So, Bola Tunubu just enter, he never receives much. So to turn things around in a nation like Nigeria, it's not that easy like that. That is why I say, at least when I give them time before I begin come and see, like B say, make on a on a one remove to Nubu, on a one do this, on a one do that. All of them are they there now. I say on a support them, on a one be APC youth people. So on a go calm down a little bit, give them some time at least one year to see whether in will turn things around because the old man never do thing when he enter that. Position. We know the claim say Bola Tunubu is a good president. Never. We know the claim say Bola Tunubu is the best. Never. What we know in this platform be say Bola Tunubu stole an election mandate when not be in own mandate. Come carry her by force with the help of the courts, with the help of INEC, and with the help of uh, all those criminals when they Nigeria. That all of us know that one. But if we want to make Bola Tunubu, we want to see whether. Uh, things will change. At least give him some time, you know, to see how Ingo play his role as Nigerian president. Before now, begin come out like BC, Una won't pull Bola Tunubu's president presidency down. Like I said, the man not be magician. Una will give him time. Uh -huh. But would they see all these things when they happen in the news? If they come out in social media 247. And See APC people. When be APC, ladies and gentlemen, they are youths, then they cry, see, they suffer when they are country. It did too much. See, make Nigerian people come out massively, make them bring down Balatunubu's presidency.
So, yes, uh, normally if a president not perform well or a committed, most especially the crime aspect of it, Balatinubu's crime not be small crime. And if Nigerian people won't really do something against Balatinubu's government, not be because of say he never begin perform, not because say Balatinubu entered that position in a very criminal manner. Everybody knows say the certificate when Balatunubu the the parade up and down. Not being uh, everybody knows say Balatunubu na drug dealer. Everybody knows say Balatunubu committed numerous crimes in that country, including the bullion van. So including how the man took everything when belongs to Lagos State people, come claim and say I own. The man don't do a lot of damages to the people of. Nigeria. In fact, even to Nigerian democracy. So if we now want to pull Balatunubu down, we now they look the aspect, say, yeah, the gas day too high. Though that one still day involved. But we now they look the aspect, say, Balatunubu come into that power illegally. He stole someone's mandate. He's a criminal, he's a drug dealer, he's not a Nigerian person. So many things when we now look into the man they parade the woman certificate say na your own certificate so all those things on go put into picture before Oma make any decision when on our make not because he thinks they very high Bola Tunubu cannot bring in good thing to that nation APC there is no APC presidency or PDP presidency that will bring a change when the youth of Nigeria go love their own is all about destruction, to destroy things and to rob the nation hands down. So, ladies and gentlemen, now here we will drop this matter. Now, don't hear what I think back and tell us here, then we we'll soon expel the leader of the PDP, number one man, will be Atiku Abubakar. We don't see the fight when that one and then some wiki fight. We don't see how many people that they, they, they come from PDP to APC. Although we know see these people, then be one political party. Hmm? <laughs> then be one political party. Not be today, we know that one. But you go ask yourself, why come be see some people from PDP, they know they can't go other political parties. The reason be see food not there for other political parties when they go chop. Nothing the other political parties when they go rob, when they go benefit from. So now that is why we always they let all of us know see the the this thing that is called politics it is just all about them them not be about the whole Nigerian people. So now where food not they they no go go there and where food then see see they go fit make money they go fit loot money they go fit rob Nigerian people hands and they go fit get appointments hmm? when they go when they no go fit work do anything with the appointment the only thing they do with the appointment is to just go rob mm -hmm. so. They place now one food day na APC. That is why you see, see other political parties, all of them, they run entire APC because now they're the food. They now they're the presidency. They. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, one love everybody. If you know see you never follow or subscribe before, make you do so. And don't forget to comment. Alright? Bye everybody and see you guys next time.